Here's your 41 Action News update. I'm Krista Dubill. Here are your headlines from 41 Action News. We are learning more about a deadly crash where a 13-year-old died. Police confirm the teen is Victor Torres from Belton. He attended the middle school there. Police say the vehicle he was in was hit head-on by a wrong-way driver on 71 Highway last night near the Bannister exit. Crash investigators are still piecing together how this all happened. Officers in Overland Park are investigating a crash involving five people, including four children. This happened at the intersection of West 87th Street and Grant Street as the little girls were heading to Pawnee Elementary. They were walking. Investigators say a driver ran through a red light, hit another driver. The impact of the crash sent one car into the sidewalk where four children and an adult were standing. One of the kids was pretty badly hurt. We'll continue to follow this. This is the second red light crash in 48 hours in Overland Park. We showed you this video the department shared on Facebook yesterday. A driver didn't slow down for a red light and was hit by another car. The driver told officers they fell asleep. When, when we talked to police after this morning's crash, Officer John Lacey stressed a need for drivers to pay attention. We're starting to see people not obeying lights. Uh, and at the same time, a lot of distracted driving is what we're seeing out here. High V adding drug take back receptacles to its stores. The grocery chain says it wants to help battle the nationwide opioid epidemic. Their receptacles will go in every store with a pharmacy. High V says all will be in place by early November. And here is your forecast. Take a look at your seven day. A warm up tomorrow and Saturday. The Chiefs game looks to stay dry with a high of 56 degrees. And don't forget, you can get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com. Cutting the cable cord? 41 Action News is now on Roku. Search KSHB, add our channel, and you're set. All of our newscasts stream live. No other station in Kansas City can say that. Get clear, complete coverage on 41 Action News now on Roku.